What's good, y'all? Welcome to the official ASMR channel of me. So what I'm going to do is change what I'm going to do. Who texted me? <laughs> what I'm going to do is this whole channel is going to be converted to ASMR style videos from now on. So get with the program or get up out of here. So, um, yeah, just sit back, relax, get comfortable. I mean, take whatever you got on off. All of it. Hmm. All right. Um, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I told y'all I was, it's October. I mean, um, Sorry for that. Well, um, how y'all doing? Y'all having a good day? Great day. Cool. That's what's up. Uh, my day was pretty straight. You know, it was it was it was a little busy, but you know, I'm getting shit done at the end of the day. But uh, Nukes top five, ten scary videos from all over the place. Uh, let's get straight to it. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Believe me, as much as I want to. Um, we just gonna get straight into it. Hope you had a good day. Get y'all snacks ready. Pick your feet up. All the good shit. Let's start. This. All right. Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some say that children have the uncanny ability to connect to the spirit world, and in some cases, even see or communicate <clears throat> with the other side. In this next video, a father is home alone with his son when the toddler seems to spot something truly bizarre. Y'all good? Mama. Mama. <laughs> Your mom isn't there. There's no one there. Mama. Are you seeing ghosts? Yes. <laughs> in another creepy video posted by Kurt Harris, his family is visiting his grandmother in Chicago when his little cousin Daisia says something that is downright chilling. Hold up, yo. The way the way the camera just pans over there. And it's just her standing in the doorway like that. <laughs> it looked just like the emoji, bro. <laughs> yo. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, yo. <laughs> the form is perfect. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's watch. What man? What man? What man? Yo. Up here? Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> I don't need <laughs> Little Daisy claims that the relative in an older photo on the wall visits her at night. Now, the only problem with that is, well, he did. Up here? Uh-huh. He did, yo. <laughs> I don't need uh -huh. In fact, the man in the photo passed away in 2005, over 14 years before little Daisia was even born. She has never even met the man. Or that should be she happening, actually though. meet his ghost? You decide. Up there? Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't need that. The Crescent Hotel. Built over 138 years ago, the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas has become infamous for its dark history full of death and tragedy, leaving the hotel with the ominous name, quote, the most haunted hotel in America. Ooh, who's trying to go? The hotel was once a treatment center run by a man named Norman Baker. Baker claimed that he had, quote, the miracle cure for cancer. Of course, these claims were completely false, and Fuck hundreds of people lost their lives within the walls of this building, hopelessly waiting on a cure that would just never come. <clears throat> Some of the patient's remains were said to be scattered on the property. Now, with a history like that, it's no wonder that today many of the hotel guests claim to have had terrifying paranormal encounters. And some of these experiences Ooh. were even caught on camera. Mm -mm. Four oh, years shit. ago, That's Jennifer Cronister was visiting the Crescent Hotel with her mother when she accidentally captured something truly 
creepy. <clears throat> Girls trip, most haunted hotel in America, and my nightstand on the creepy God, door is my eyes just so like, early bedtime <laughs> looking for goats. Did you see it? When slowed down, it becomes clear that something moves in front of Jennifer's camera. Something Nipples that hurt. resembles Fuck. a small child. Oh, can't do this. Even creepier, Fox News ah. reporter Abby Hornacek also stayed at the hotel and left with painful scratches. It's like a defense mechanism. They just get hurt. But that's not all. A woman named Angelina and her Ooh. daughter were staying in room 212 at the Crescent Hotel. It is said that on this side of the building, the spirit of a mysterious lady in white is often seen on the balconies. I can't do that. In fact, it's claimed that sometimes this ghost is actually seen falling from the balconies into the garden below. So, it's six in the morning and Angelina is outside her room enjoying her coffee. And then, this happens. I ain't playing with this shit. <clears throat> Let a bitch peek from around one of them damn. Angelina Listen. is shocked and also a bit excited when she hears the voice of a woman singing from the balcony right next to her. Because there's no one over there. Angelina says that she was a bit creeped out by the experience, but she is also grateful to have captured what she believes is the voice of a spirit. Excuse me, and people go there like voluntarily for fun. Like what? Knock knock. Oh, what's that reason? One night, a group of friends decide to film themselves taking a spooky dare at a local school that is said to be haunted. The story goes that if you go around to the back of the school and knock on the nurse's office door, someone or something will knock back. Go. <laughs> Just knock on it. Knock. Where are y'all parents? No, go. Knock harder. Let them know. Why, bitch, you do it. Let them. A sudden loud scream sends the girls running in terror. Let them. Now, unfortunately, the original creator of this video has basically disappeared off the internet. So for now, whatever happened next remains a mystery. Good thing they didn't we overreact. Scary videos. So if you've seen one or even filmed one yourself, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. School's out. 14 years ago, Mark Doty visited a private school in Seattle to use the school's recording studio to lay down a new track. <clears throat> Mark sets up his camera in the school hallway and is about to record a vlog for social media. But for some reason, he just isn't feeling well and is having trouble keeping 14 focus. 14 years ago, I was 12. Eventually, he just gives up. Much later, Mark is going back through the footage that he recorded at the school. What he sees chills him to his core. This is the video. <clears throat> okay. Okay, um, quality really like seals uh, it all together. I'm not gonna, this is, I'm not doing this right. Um, okay. And it's daytime too. I see myself. I don't oh know shit. Okay, never mind. Did you see it? The eerie translucent figure of a woman dressed in a long white gown can just barely be seen walking down the staircase. 
But as the figure oh. suddenly turns the corner, it becomes very visible. But then, it disappears out of sight. Mark is completely unaware of what's happening right behind him. But for some reason, he feels confused and unfocused. Now, it's worth mentioning that Mark has dedicated his social media and YouTube channel exclusively to his music. This 14-year-old footage is the only video on his channel that has anything to do with the paranormal. The unwelcome guest. Well. Workers at a mid-sized hotel in Los Angeles, California have noticed strange things happening on the hotel's second floor. These odd incidents usually seem to occur late at night. All right, so we're getting crazy calls from this room that is unoccupied in the second floor. Okay, keys. I think it's two. There's a phone. No one's calling. No one's here. Everything's chilling. A worker at the hotel says they've been getting frequent unexplained phone calls from an empty room on the second floor. He goes to check, but he finds no explanation for the bizarre calls. There's no one staying in that room. But did you hear it? After I carefully analyzed this video, I noticed something odd that neither the uploader or his viewers seemed to catch. Now I've isolated and enhanced the audio to make it easier to hear, but listen closely. Without knowing, the hotel worker seems to have caught a creepy EVP of a voice whispering, why? as he walks down the second floor hall. But that's not all that the late night hotel staff has captured on video. During a slow night of work at the hotel, a girl named Brooke and her coworker decide to pass the time with a fun little race challenge. They put their phone in the hotel's elevator on the third floor and attempt to race the elevator down to the lobby to pick it up. But then things just get weird. <clears throat> Fuck that. How did they get stuck in the stairwell? Does this kind of look like Doja Cat. on the allegedly haunted second floor as the doors continuously open and close for no you bitch. reason. And oh my god. Enough, another unexplained voice seems to quietly say, hello? I almost poked my fucking eye out. Yo. Cut to another night at the hotel. <laughs> Brooke decides to record as she and her co-worker are busy arranging furniture in one of the vacant second floor rooms. The video scared was me meant so to be bad. a random vlog showing what they do on an average night at work. But when she looks back at her footage, she finds something that is pure nightmare fuel. I didn't think it would be that strong. I know y'all saw that. It was a nigga in the mirror standing. Nah, bro. Nah. No. What am I talk about? Where the mirror should go? <laughs> yeah, actually, let's do our job. Okay. okay. All right. Chat, should the mirror go 
here in this corner the right corner okay or in that corner did you see it hell yeah for a brief moment, a dark shape can be seen standing in the opposite corner of the room. Yeah, you got me fucked watching the two up. young women as they work. Nope. But when they pan the camera back over to the corner where the dark figure was standing, there's nothing there. I'm sweating. So, like that is this LA me. hotel haunted? Or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. That elevator fucked me up for real. A cry for help. Late one afternoon, two teenage girls are hanging out in the woods near their home. They're taking pictures of a red rose in the forest for an art project for school. They begin to hear something very strange coming from the woods nearby. They start to get a little freaked out. And one of the girls takes out her phone and captures this disturbing video. What if I scream to scare the demons? They would mimic your scream. Oh. That never scares me anyway. Maybe it's just a bunch of kids trying to summon demons. Stop in the forest we're in. <laughs> where do y'all live where y'all just like go into the forest for fun? The more I listen, the more scary it sounds. Why is that like one of those now? Oh, we got a <laughs> Yeah. Of course, in the middle of nowhere. I think I know what it is. I think it's a hyena. Bitch, where you live at? I think it's a hyena. No. The two girls hear bizarre screaming coming from somewhere nearby in the woods. But the two teenagers, apparently fearing demons and hyenas, are pretty freaked out. And she probably live in like Kentucky or some home. shit talking about something. It's a Both hyena. The tells her mother what happened and her mom makes the very wise decision to immediately call the police. The local authorities arrive and search the area, and in a tragic turn of events, they find a woman in the woods desperately screaming for help. Oh. The woman's husband had suddenly lost consciousness and quickly passed away out in the middle of the forest. Oh. The woman cried Damn. and cried for help, <clears throat> but it was hours before anyone came. Now, unfortunately, nothing could be done for the man, even if the call had been made earlier. But this very sad story is a good reminder that scary sounds aren't always something scary. Calling the authorities just might save a life. Secret Shopper One night at around 10 p.m. at a discount store in California, Rodney, the store manager, is busy processing some inventory in the stock room. Rodney is completely alone when something happens that sends chills down his spine. I want you guys to focus on this area right here, okay? Hold on, let me uh, speed this up a bit. <clears throat> All right, watch. Look. Mm. Mm. You see that? Suddenly, for no reason, a box falls from the high shelf in the storeroom with a loud bang, freaking Rodney out. But, as he reviews the store security camera footage to show what happened, he suddenly hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the store. Oh, really? He goes to investigate, and this is when things get really creepy. And he there by himself, too. You? you got me fucked up. Look, look, I'm here by myself. Hell Nobody's no. Nobody's here. It's just me. Why? See that? Come out. 
Nigga, don't. Don't. I'm not afraid of you. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna get your ass. Watch. When you're getting dragged around the floor, you ain't gonna say Is that. Is that you? I threw down the box earlier? Come on out. This is the worst shit ever. You don't scare me. Mm -mm. Fuck the aisles. I can't. Come on up. Nigga, you're wildin'. White people just not scared of shit, but black. It's trying to mess like with me. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh shit. Rodney searches the store Nigga. to find the source of the strange sound. You see how and red my nose is? I'm not playing, bro. Air. Almost as if something is touching him. He goes to check the store security camera and his blood runs cold. Look, there I am right there. Look, you see that? You see that? But you weren't scared, Nick. Nah, nah go uh, back. No, nah, go back. See. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. We'll it talk looks to him. like something pulled Rodney's hair. Now, Rodney posted his video to show what happened to him, but it's chosen to keep his identity and the location of the store a secret. Uh, it, I didn't want to be labeled this store as the haunted store. So I thought you my store. Some crazy things happened and took some video and that's about it. So is this a real paranormal encounter or not? As always, I leave that up to you to decide. First of all, what's up with them freaky ass Emergency. ghosts pulling hair and shit? In this next creepy video, three medical students are working the night shift and it's a bit <clears> of a <throat> slow night on the job. So to pass the time, they decide to set out to explore an abandoned and allegedly haunted section of the hospital, the old out of service hospital emergency room. You guys, haunted ER? We're gonna go. Haunted ER, haunted ER. Throughout the hospital's many years in operations, countless patients died in this section of the hospital. The most recent tragic death being that of a young child. It is said that the ghosts of patients who passed away still haunt the old ER. Mm. So the three med students make it down to the abandoned old emergency room. And yes, things are about to take a terrifying turn. I mean, the good too. Oh my god, my head is huge. So Chloe, so I can't even. Huh? It's just close to the camera. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right. We got a chance for the haunted. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh god. Is this like... I'm, I'm not excited about this. I didn't even think okay. was it was It feels like a, um, we're getting on a. Uh... Are you nervous? You nervous? Are you nervous? Y'all ass gonna get locked in there. So... <laughs> I don't care if it's a training doll, nigga. Yeah, look at her. Oh, that's so weird. That is the creepiest <laughs> shit. No. I'm not. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna shit on myself. Live. Yeah. This room feels weird. 
I don't like this. I would throw up. It did, it moved, it moved, it moved, yes it did, it did. How do you not see that? Oh, okay. There y'all go. There you got it. A curtain moves on its own. Got me fucked up. falls to the floor almost as if it was pushed. The three medical students are completely freaked out and just run right out of there. That stressed me out way too much. So, are the stories true? And is the old emergency room haunted by the spirits of former patients? Let me know what you think. Cynical. Shit. A new top five viewer and YouTube gamer who goes by the name Professor Cynical reached out to us about some scary, unexplainable events that have been happening at his home in England. And that kind of stuff happens all the time now. And the the hell. Even though Professor Cynical is, uh, well, cynical and a skeptic. He says that ever since his family moved into their home four years ago, things have happened that he simply can't explain. Late one night after being awakened by strange noises- Nigga, you live in the kitchen? Hold up. I'm- And starts recording. I'm trying- What happens next is downright creepy. Don't worry about that. That, that was my uh, freshener going off automatically. Eight that minutes. door closing. Bargain. Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. 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 The setup nah, in the nope, kitchen nope, is nope, a new nope, one for nope, real. Nope, nope. I am moving out. Cynical is shocked when he sees the door to the kitchen move all by itself. That layout kind of crazy. It gets even creepier. What's that room next to the kitchen? The pantry? Can you make something move? Again? Are you in the dark doing this shit? Can you make something move? Is these bowels gonna move? Can you make anything move? Cynical has the scare of a lifetime when suddenly a chair forcefully slides towards him from all the way across the room. Video over. Fuck that. Professor Cynical says that he now believes his house might just be very haunted he thinks that he and his <clears throat> family should maybe just move out i actually got my voice cracking i can't if you're right. shift oh he's working a late night shift on ambulance duty as an emergency medical technician as he's driving the ambulance back to base something happens that he simply can't explain something absolutely terrifying all right so i'm not sure how to um how to talk about this, but well, oh yeah, that's bro. First of all, I've been an EMT just for a little bit, and like I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So keep how far away they are from the truck. So as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. That's my biggest fear ever. Like, send somebody soon as you can. I need to turn this engine off though, cause like we're gonna be stranded out here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm not trying to go back in. For all my EMTs out there, I salute y'all. All the med, the med, emergency. What the fuck am I talking? Med, nigga, emergency medical workers. All of that. All of y'all. Salute to all of y'all.
got up out of there. Black people don't play with that shit, bro. He ain't want no parts. I ain't mad at him. Fuck the phone, everything. <laughs> I don't know if you see it, but can can y'all see that back door? Like it, just, <sighs> like it just flew open. Like can oh, oh. <laughs> no, nah, what the. F As Chapri is reaching in to turn off the engine, just off camera, the back door of the ambulance flies open on its own. Bro, I can't. Chapri okay? shocked and jumps back out, leaving his phone behind. Now <clears> he eventually <throat> returns and grabs his phone. But then Japri and his EMT partner see a strange unexplained shadow darting back and forth inside the ambulance. Japri says he was so shaken up by this encounter that he called his employer to come pick up the ambulance. He says he just took an Uber home. Damn, I ain't even mad at you, bro. Hey, look, thank y'all so much. This was this was a banger for her, I ain't even gonna lie. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I love all of y'all. Shout out to all the gang, uh, all the, all my friends, all my streamer homies, y'all. I ain't forget about y'all. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all gonna see me in y'all stream anyway. Fucking with y'all. I just be annoying everybody. That's that's like one of my side jobs for real. When I'm not here, I'm annoying my other friends. So <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all in the next video though. Thank y'all so much. All the love and support. I'm out of here. Peace, Lee. Take us out, mama. Hey, choir. Love from the country, Big Lee, not the little one. I'm her.